Hey team, it is day 69. I hope you're doing well. Let's get into the six goals, but also I wanted to talk a little bit about in follow-up to yesterday, as you hit a stuck zone or when you get stuck with your weight, and as you can see that 260 and I'm not budging very far, which it's frustrating, but in the same sense, you gotta try different things. And so what I was asking myself is like, how can I get the least amount of pain or how can I keep things similar uh, you know, adding the cardio, of course, and my macros, but like, is there any special trick? So, you know, I looked up, does spicy food help you lose weight? Because I've always thought, you know, at least categorically speaking, uh, that it, it revs up your metabolism and, and, you know, helps you lose weight. But I really wanted to like do a little extra research on it because I'm like, hey, I like spicy food. I could probably start eating more of that. So we'll go over it after I get done with these. But like when you get to these points and you start to get your body in places where you have to push past far past where it's used to, um, you know, you try to look for little tips and tricks. So we'll talk about it in a little bit. So 216 today, like I said, ugh, 1935 for calories. Uh, really uh, got my back, I was pretty close, but uh, I was a little short on fat, uh, which is why the calories are a little low. 140 ounces, 6.5 hours of sleep. I feel like my cliche is, you know, if I could just get through this week, just had busy weeks. And so this whole time too, during this, this challenge, I've noticed my average sleep has been under seven hours. So it's, it's between six and a half and seven. So when you, when you look at that, I did a whole big thing on sleep debt and I'm like, uh, you just start to run through your head while you're stuck. And so I just, I got to focus on that as well. But you know, you do have to support your kids and things. So, I mean, there's that, uh, and, Anyway, 65 minutes and 201 grams of protein. So let's get into this thing. And if you hadn't noticed, I wrote the, the spicy food help you lose weight in red because it's spicy. So I thought red was cool, not this you can't. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. Sometimes, just like I said, things, weird things come out of my head. So uh, when we take a look at this um, spicy food and uh, the main thing, when I took a look at the research, it was Cleveland Clinic, University of Virginia, a few other places, the main thing these studies were done on looked at what's in peppers that makes them hot, which is capsaicin, okay? So uh, let me spell that out for you. Cap, capsaicin, okay? And that is just what makes peppers hot. There I go. Yeah, I got it right. Hot. <laughs> Those are flames, in case you didn't know. So, what makes peppers hot is capsaicin. Okay, so what they did with these studies is they just, that's all of them. It's just they kind of didn't make people eat a bunch of peppers, but they actually used the, the compound ca capsaicin to study them. So, they actually did come up with five things that, you know, spicy food spices up a little bit for you. But before you go running to your local Indian store or, you know, Thai store or someplace with super hot food, um, just hold on a second. So the first and foremost thing that it does, let's see what color I got going on here. We'll do pink, is it boosts metabolism. So eating hot food does essentially rev up your metabolism. So it spices it up and revs it up. So the second thing that it does, what color do I got next here? Ooh, the blue one, uh, is it also, it, it can control hunger. And what the studies pointed to on that is, is there's something with the capsaicin that, that signals the hypothalamus that gives the full feeling. Um, I didn't 100% understand, well, I, I, I did based on what they thought the signaling, but anyway, control can control your appetite, all right? The third one, which I like, is it can improve heart health. And this one, I, I mean, I was like, come on, really? Um, but if you think about something that can boost your metabolism, control your appetite, you're maybe gonna eat less, but the improved heart health was 13% lower likelihood of death for the people that eat spicy food. So that was interesting to me. 
Now, the one thing that surprised me though was number four, and that is that it actually can boost your gut health. You know, and, and when I was growing up and dad would eat something spicy, you know, you'd like, you'd, you'd always see him drinking that. He would always like drink the chalky stuff that was like antacid or whatever for all, I don't know. I don't know why, but anyway, um, it actually can boost the microbiome in your, in your gut and that's the healthy bacteria. And we know that, you know, if you stimulate that, um, the, if you stimulate a healthy gut flora, uh, things roll through. We talked a little bit about gut health before when you, um, that's just a good thing. So it, you know, if it does that, that's a great thing. So the last thing I will do with a black marker and it is, it um, reduces inflammation. And that is, it will reduce inflammation in the gut. So basically we talk about the <clears throat> healthy gut flora, gut, gut flora. And also when you think about it, if you, reduce in its low grade, low grade inflammation in the gut, we know that that low grade inflammation, that inflammation, because when your gut and intestines are inflamed, it leads to obesity. So if you can reduce inflammation in those places, it's gonna help overall. So studies were done with capsaicin, that is what makes peppers hot. And I gotta, I'm gonna pat myself on the back a little bit. That's a nice little drawing there. Boost metabolism, control hunter, improve heart health, boost gut health, and reduce inflammation. This looks like an awesome list, but don't go run out and start chomping down all this spicy food because it's still about a calorie deficit, you guys. It's still about hydrating yourself. It's still about sleep. You can eat all the spicy food in the world, but if you overeat it, you're going to get fat. And that leads to horrible stuff. It leads to horrible stuff. We know that. Early death, okay? And so when you think about it, especially if you haven't eaten a whole lot of spicy food, like start slow if you want to. Add a little cayenne or cayenne pepper here and there, or you know, some spicy stuff here and there, kind of work it in. Otherwise, trust me, trust me on this, you are going to regret your, you get, you'll, you'll need one napkin to wipe your mouth, the other one to wipe your nose and the forehead, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of crazy. So just ensure that you start low or start slow when you go right away, but there is essentially some benefits to eating spicy foods. So I hope this was interesting for you. Uh, it definitely was interesting to me as I'm looking for any little extra angle I can have to get through and underneath this hump. Uh, secondly, there was a question about yesterday's video when we talked about cardio, right? So I just, okay, we're done talking about the hot stuff and let's talk about cardio. Now, when I talked about cardio yesterday, uh, the question was like, what, what kind of cardio are you doing? And I like to do what I call slow cardio or it's, it's steady state cardio. So it's basically on elliptical machines, uh, walking on treadmills. I like to walk outside too, uh, when it's not freezing outside. Uh, I, and it's a brisk walk. Uh, I like to do uh, stair steppers sometime, but the reason I like to do the stationary cardio machines is because I like to, what I call, learn and burn, or, or burn while you learn, however you wanna do it. I love to, uh, watch ed, uh, videos that are enhance my skill set with certain things I'm doing, whether it's my business or coaching or just uh, whether I'm learning about cool stuff around weight loss, uh, investing, anything that I really am trying to better myself with is a good time to what I call multitask because you can you can do steady state cardio pretty pretty simple and stay focused on on what you're doing. And if I'm walking outside, definitely got an audio book of, of whatever I'm working on educationally or so uh, as I walk. So there you go. Hopefully that answers the question. If it doesn't, let me know. Uh, leave it in the comments. I'll answer in the comments or in subsequent videos. And you know what? If you are on this journey with me, we got 21 days. You can do this. You're probably doing way better than I am. Uh, but if you're having any of these issues, you know, leave a comment, DM me, let me know. But you're going to do this. We're going to get this. Overall, I do believe, and I believe the proof is there, and this program, not even program, this, this lifestyle, I should say, of you know, keeping, keeping a decent handle on your calories, getting enough hydration and getting enough sleep, I mean, it's not a new formula. It's something that we should be doing along with activity uh, if you want to live a healthy life. 
So you're gonna do it, you're gonna get it. So thanks so much for your support as always. Uh, if, again, let me know if you want me to talk about anything for future videos. And definitely, I look forward to talking to you guys tomorrow.